wanted to pop in this morning and show you something really quick and I'm gonna try to talk and move at the same time. A couple of days ago, I had uh, a lady come in, a friend of mine, Teresa Carpenter, sent her to me, and she's someone I actually worked with like 30 years ago. Isn't it wild whenever you get to see somebody you haven't seen in that long? And uh, she's getting ready to do a mantle for her home, and she can't decide which color to do, so I thought, I have these two uh, old cabinet doors that I got for... Uh, they have marker on them, three bucks back there. They had a $5 sticker that was stuck on there this morning. But anyway, I went to the Habitat store for the very first time. Uh, the closest one is a little over an hour from here, but I went there and they were actually having a sale. So I got them for $1.50 a piece, which is pretty cool. And I thought, well, why don't I paint over those really quick in just a distressed fashion in both of the colors that she's considering and then she can have something cool to look at to decide like kind of like a sample board so i am using diy paint this morning and the whitest color that the that she had picked out was uh white swan so i'm going to use white swan on both of these doors It's not extremely important that uh, everything be good because these are going to be distressed afterward so the paint doesn't have to be perfect on there. And I brought my blow dryer from home to dry them with because I knew I would be wanting to get both of these done in short order here. And I actually got another one in the mail when I got here to work today. There was uh, a really cute one that says no drama llama <laughs> and it has a llama on it and llamas are really in right now i'm fixing to paint a picture of a llama for them. okay so there's a man i wish i could get these how i want them there's a quick coat of the white on there let me see, I don't even know what brush I'm gonna to use to go in the center here. Look how thick that is. This is the uh, Cowgirl Coral. Bring that out in case I do another coat. I'm gonna to try to go around these edges just a tad to get a, bring in a little bit more of this in here. I'm gonna distress these edges in a minute anyway, so I'll be taking some of this back off. Oh, that's such a pretty color. This one's called Sea Glass. It's a sort of a medium, sort of a teal color. I'm gonna have to let that dry and put another coat. <clears throat> I'm just not as good at uh, the shabby chic looking stuff where your finish shows through. Um, I'm just not a fan, so let me fix it. <laughs> Baby's dry. What the grid is on this, it felt maybe it's a 120. These are like a dollar fifty. They came from Dixie Bell. And I have them in the storefront area up there. Oh mercy. going to say farm. That's this one, I think. Uh, and I'm 
guess, and I'll just do my best to eyeball it to be straight there because that's the kind of girl I am. I'm an eyeballer. Oh, that makes me nervous. This stuff is very thick. I'm surprised. I don't know exactly. It's sort of like a like melted taffy, maybe. Okay, I think I'm supposed to rub it across here. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this off. Please let it just say farm real pretty. And it does. For the most part, apparently, it does look a little bit distressed. And apparently where it wet the underpaint, the DIY paint, which we know is uh, reactivated with water, it looks a little more distressed and that's okay because I wanted it distressed anyway. So we'll pretend that accident was on purpose. Let's see if I can get this chicken centered. Up with that one, that looks good. <clears throat> Let's come up with this one. That looks good. Come on, weather vane chicken. Show me what you got. Oh, my fingernails won't get under there. Here we go. There we go. Eh, ain't a thing in the world wrong with that. What are we going to do? Are we going to white wax it, dark wax it? I think we're going to dark wax it. And I think instead of, uh, I'm going to use brown instead of the heavy wax, I'm going to go in. Gosh, I don't want to mess up my favorite paintbrush. I'm going to go in with, uh, one of these here to get it in the crevices. This stuff is almost like pudding. I really don't understand it, but you know what? I can't do that. I'm glad I thought about it real quick. I'm gonna put a coat of Big Top over it because if I go right in there, that paint is gonna absorb so much uh, of that dark wax, it won't look good. going deep down in these crevices and I'm using a small artist brush because I just want to get it in there. This is my dark wax brush, paint fixie brush. sea glass so that's my first hand at distressing with the sandpaper or sanding pad from Dixie Bell while the paint was not cured yet that's my first time using the chalk couture uh, I don't know what they call them it's transfers and using some of the Dixie Bell uh, brown wax and I have some of the gilding wax that I wanted to use too. I don't know where in the world I would put it. This is the warm gold. I don't know how to put it or where to put it. Maybe just around the top edge right here. Out of a hint of a glimmer up there on the very top. Appreciate y'all joining me this morning. I'm gonna clean up my mess and get ready to go shopping with my grandkids and enjoy my day and I hope you enjoy yours too. Thank you. <laughs>